New at 11, the family of a Loveland man says management in a Milford Kroger drove their son to commit suicide. They say their son was bullied and humiliated on the job, and now his parents are seeking a jury trial on multiple claims against the grocery store giant. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller is following the case. This 29 page lawsuit outlines what the family says is dangerous and disturbing conduct by two managers at that Milford location. They say their son's cries for help were ultimately ignored. His job to Kroger was his identity. It was everything to him. Attorney Austin LaPuma is describing 40 year old Evan Safebride, a Loveland man and a 19 year employee of Kroger. He would rose up the ranks, worked hard, reported every day. But things changed during the pandemic, according to the Safe Ride family attorney. Evan was reportedly bullied by two managers at the Milford store. In the lawsuit filed Monday, LaPuma claims the bullying began when Evan wanted to wear a mask per CDC and Kroger guidelines. Because of his refusals to comply with, quite frankly, dangerous conduct, they then targeted him with just as I mentioned, completely indescribable behavior. The suit claims Evan was, quote, tortured for months by his superiors, who allegedly slashed and destroyed products in the section Evan maintained. According to the filing, Evan reached out to the company's helpline. His family says those complaints went largely ignored. In March, Evan took his own life, his family says, because of the bullying he endured while at work. That Evan had any issues with mental illness, no history of any issues whatsoever, and every single complaint that led up to that fateful day was solely attributable to those garish stories and conduct from that location. A 2019 study shows that more than 90% of employees have been bullied while on the job. Psychologist Dr. Ashley Solomon says organizations need to be open and managers responsive. If someone's not getting the support that they need at work, then I'm going to encourage them to use resources like their family doctor or a, even a suicide hotline. Evan's lawyer wants answers. We also have so many questions knowing that Evan attempted to blow the whistle, to say these are the people supposed to protect me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to put you on notice. Now we reached out to Kroger for a response to these allegations. We have not yet heard back from them. For now reporting in Cincinnati, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.